What up everybody, we're doing all things food culture today. So today we're doing one of my favorites, one of your favorites, chicken wings. Uh, lemon pepper chicken wings, we're gonna have that with harissa, which is a uh, North African uh, spice that we're gonna just incorporate with that. Some honey, some soy sauce, some lime, and a little pineapple kind of sweeten it up a little bit. Stick around, stay tuned, we'll be back. Today we're doing uh, lemon pepper and uh, harissa chicken wings. A little different, but a little bold. So we want to just really bring, pack in the flavor, pack in strong flavors, pack in crispiness from the chicken wings. You know, we're gonna have some crunchiness from uh, garlic as well. So this is a dehydrated garlic. So gives it some crunch, it gives some texture to really give you the essence of what a chicken wing is all about. So, you know, it's football season coming up, so we all tasting different styles of chicken wings, whether it's a lemon pepper, whether it's a barbecue, whether it's a, even, you know, the Cajun style. So today we're bringing all that together and really giving you something unique and special. Uh, to start, we're having, as you can see, the chicken wings are um, already washed and rinsed and uh, patted dry. So we're gonna just sit those to the side for a second and we're gonna start our sauce. So we're gonna start with three tablespoons of butter. That's right, can't go wrong with no butter. You know, won't hurt anybody. So uh, that's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, nice and salt, unsalted butter. And I added half a cup of uh, pineapple juice. We're gonna do quarter cup of soy sauce. Now, one of the things I like to add is um, sugar, just half a cup of sugar. Now you can switch it up. If you don't want to add sugar, you can uh, substitute for honey. So this, for this batch, we're gonna add uh, half of that, pretty much a quarter cup. You know, just kind of give it uh, a nice glaze, tighten it up a little bit. And meanwhile, let that go while, and also we're gonna add the dehydrated, two tablespoons of dehydrated garlic. To really give it some pop, so. Let that go for a little bit while everything else is brewing. Meanwhile, we're gonna start the chicken wings with a little olive oil. Kinda of start the motor, get the engine going. I'm gonna add a little dehydrated, or should I say, I'm sorry, granulated um, honey. If you don't have that, you can use uh, just two tablespoons of honey. Uh, that works just as well. So this is a tablespoon of ranch seasoning. You know, so it's, it's more than just ranch dressing. So we use the, the powder form to really bring out the flavors of the buttermilk. You have dill, you have parsley, you have lemon in there also. So just something to really brighten up uh, the chicken as well. Uh, lemon pepper. And a little white pepper as well. We're gonna mix these up a little bit and let that, uh, let that sit. So you preferably, you can marinate these overnight. I would recommend you do. But at the same time, you know, if you press for time, you know, you can go for a couple hours. So we'll break out the flour, we'll season the flour with a little salt, a little white pepper, you know, white pepper, black pepper works just as well. And let's just do a nice little mix. And season that through. You can bring your oil, bring your oil up to 350. Um, if you don't want to cook too fast, you could drop it like 10 degrees, 340 works as well. Could get longer temperatures and it should be perfect. So you can do a couple at a time. You know, for most people I've run into, it's always a debate of drums versus flats. Now, my personal favorites are drums. You know, it's just a personal preference. I always feel like they're 
a little bit more meatier. Also, you know, you, you can look at the marrow, marrow in the bone, so that's where a lot of your flavor comes from as well. So it kind of lends a helping hand of, um, of you packing more flavor and really getting, getting the, uh, the chicken seasoned to the bone. So we're gonna fry all these up. So this is about a pound's worth, a pound's worth of chicken drumettes. And we're gonna let these go for about seven to eight minutes. Our glaze is starting to come together. It's really reducing nicely. So I'm going to take half of a lime to squeeze the juice in there. So once the once the chicken is done, we're just going to toss it in the sauce and we're, we'll finish this with uh, fresh cilantro. And I'm sorry, I forgot one, one key, key, key step, should I say. We'll add a tablespoon of harissa. Very important step. You know, we want some of that heat, we want some of the flavor, so just kind of mess this around. Now, if you like the spicier, you can go more. If you don't like it too spicy, I recommend you go less. So it's um, it doesn't matter as long as we get a little bit, little bit of flavors in there. That's what we're looking for. Really uh, execute that. It's coming together. It's, it tastes fantastic. So the glaze we're gonna let reduce at least by we're gonna let the uh, glaze reduce by one more minute. So it's a little thicker. So it really coats the chicken well and really and grab a taste to it so you know every bite you're getting everything you're getting all the sauce you're getting all, all the crispiness, the crispiness of the chicken and really having a great chicken wing i might save you some all right so the glaze is done we're going to set that aside and kind of just really monitor what the wings are all about or should I say the drumettes. So I like the lemons. Really cook on one side, really get crispy on one. You know, if you're not looking for a frying method, uh, a baking method works as well. You can just roast them in the oven at 400 degrees, um, at least for 15 to 17 minutes. That works as well. But Frying up her teeth. So that's always my favorite. So we're gonna let those cook for a little bit and get ready for our finished product. Next thing we're gonna add a this one bunch, you could have a bunch, but I like, uh, I like cilantro, you know, versus uh, parsley or um, chervil, different greens like that. But uh, cilantro has a nice fragrance, especially, you know, you mixing uh, flavors such as soy sauce, pineapple, some garlic, you know. No cilantro never hurts. So we're gonna check on the wings, starting to see this starting to get golden brown. But you can know when the chicken is done, you'll start to see the uh, juices run clear. It's going to clear through the chicken. Uh, sometimes, you, for some cases, you need to pull back just a little bit. So you're, that's when, uh, you know, I use that as a trigger to really tell when uh, the chicken, chicken, uh, chicken wings or chicken drumettes, especially drumettes, because they cook a lot faster. They're done to, um, for completion. 
So these are just about there. And once these are done, I'm going to transfer these into the, the pineapple and uh, arisa glaze. So we're going to take the sauce and just drizzle it right over it. mix till it's nicely incorporated and let's just get ready for plate like I said before these wings cannot miss so please check it out on my app food culture you can download it on Android or Apple if you like the video please like share comment and subscribe and happy cooking oh let's try these out